been an honor and privilege to be part of her life and to coach her and to help her achieve what she has. I can achieve something, and I can grab it. Dynamite comes in small packages, and I learned that from the also. Kamala Mumpo Madi, I'm 26 years of age, I'm Tale Pinoni, and I do amateur wrestling. I'm Zalele Emelo, and then straight up after birth, Bangsu, I'm a social worker, but I'm a place of safety in Fandrain, Pinoni. I'm Bile Lapasad, I'm Bile Lapasad. Lapasad, Lapasad. At the age of four years old, I was adopted by the Madi family. And then at the age of six years old, things didn't go so well there. The Tama Social Worker Wang Mover, Wang Isa, a Pinoni, a Kids Haven, Langka Lele Kona, again, the wrestling con. So life started at Kids Haven. This is my mom's grandson. So he actually chases my brother, he's my friend, my, my buddy. So if I want to try something, I try it on him. Yeah. Because he's. A fun-loving person, but she's serious when she needs to be. You can approach Mpo on any account and she'll give you what you need to know. She'll, she'll help you if you need help. Nali Mpo, we grew up from Kucharan's home since we were young. More telling Raba Yang, we were playing like room around, playing netball, like different spots. I mean, I was a very active child, so sitting down there at Bumpo, it was so boring for me. 90% of the kids, the kids were boys, and we would play in soccer because they want to teach you how to play soccer. Steadily as a last soccer, starting from Ali Munya and until 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 she ended up being now playing soccer and wrestling. Okay guys, this is the Boxberg Wrestling Club. This is where I train. Coach was say wrestling was our introduced wrestling lap our fun and then they came back and they made a, made a patch. Now I'm with you. If you're going to wrestling, you can get 100 run. I have practice. I'm going to get 100 run, and then, but okay, I mustn't stop. And then after two months, I wrestled my essays, I got a gold medal, and I didn't stop after then. You know, when I saw Mori the first time, I could immediately see that um, uh, in terms of what she was doing, the technical ability when it comes to drills and, and that type of thing, that she, she was uh, she's talented, she, she has the ability to, to do those things quickly and effectively. And I knew, you know, deep inside that if she kept on working, uh, she would make a success of whatever comes away. I'm a wrestler. Everybody goes, what? Oh, they'll be like, what? Oh, in Tombazan, oh, Rasalanjan, our Limali, a bona, or Mutu, they are one now. Because I want to Babuga wrestling at TV and Babuga WWE, of which is not wrestling, it's entertainment. My immediate reaction was WWE, you know, fighting and punching and kicking and all that stuff. 
and I didn't know what wrestling was actually, and I was shocked to know that Mpo was a female wrestler. Then I actually went and saw how she wrestles, and then I was even more shocked when I saw how these guys throw each other around and stuff. It looks painful. Then I saw Mpo wrestle, and I was like, you know, I was, I was shocked. I was shocked. It was not, wasn't natural to me at the time. At school, I want to be to do wrestling. So boys would be like, yeah, they just want to see Guti, how good am I. And at one stage, I had a boy that was really annoying me, and I had to use my wrestling technique, or else I was dead, you know? I'm a fan of Akali, but I'm a fan of Akali, and I'm a fan of Akali, and I'm a fan of Akali, and I'm so I was in trouble. I had to stop wrestling for a month. <laughs> but after that, I got the respect that I deserved. Traditionally, it was a men's sport. So it's only in, in recent times that, that people have made the paradigm shift that, that women can also wrestle and be part of our sport. Um, but worldwide, there's a movement um, and emphasis on female wrestling. So I had a choice to, to make, to go play provincial Kusoka or to go to the trials for a wrestling Giaguma African Games. And then I chose the soccer because I'm familiar with that. That was 2004 when I started wrestling. And then um, I didn't really do so well. And one of my friends, Nainton Bazani, that went to the trials, they exited well, and then they went overseas the next month. I'm like, there is no way I'm going to stop wrestling. I want to wrestle, and I want to go represent my country overseas. So the bet, because I, I liked competing, was by that year, I need to go and represent my country. And then that December, I did go and represent my country for the cadets in Turkey and then I got a silver medal there. And, you know, I never stopped. Well, when, when I compete and get something, then I don't stop, I go for more. A fight between two people. One wears a red costume and one wears a blue costume. The gear is very basic, it's a singlet. I would say it, you can call it tights. And then wrestling shoes are very basic light shoes that are that also fits tight. That gives you the ability not to slip on the mat and, and have a proper grip with your with your feet on the mat. It's the Olympic colours. It's a standard colour, you have to wear that. But um, in South Africa, in America, the school boys would wear other colors just for the fun of it, you know, just to look nice. But when you go compete for United World Wrestling, you have to wear red or blue. Before you do your training, you first start with the warm up, and then you go with the strength, and then you do a little bit of technique, and then you stretch and cool down. For a wrestler, you have to train at least seven times a week, at least. But uh, Mina, I train more than that because I train twice a day and I train every day. So I'm training on five x but then in Tamba, I'm a foot, I'll do wrestling. This is just for strength for your upper body. I don't, you don't literally have to do a lot of uh, kilos, just uh, little kilos and uh, five reps just for your strength. So my morning training sessions will be more of a gym work. So Zoyans are in Zimbia, a little bit of cardio, and then he, during the day, I'll just keep keep exercising, keep walking around and stuff. And then it's the wrestling technique. Leg positions, right? You look forward to the watch, and you pick up with your knees. So you go. One, two, it's hectic, but it's good. It's 
good for a wrestler. Makes you strong. So the whole point of wrestling is to grapple and get your opponent's shoulder on the mat. So we're not allowed to step outside this circle. So our club have made this invention for this circle so that you can step within this circle. Okay. So when you start with the wrestling, your opponent stands there beside, outside this circle. And then I stand here in this position. This is a wrestling position. Okay. So most kids stand like this. I prefer standing like this because your balance is good. But when you stand like this, the balance is not good. They can push you over. My mouth, when you're standing like this, it's good. So every match is three minutes round and then three, 30 seconds uh, break and then another three minutes. So it's six minutes round for one match. Okay, so. It's four basic points. You need to control your opponent in a mat position. That means in parterre. To score further points, you have to have the ability to turn your opponent's back over 90 degrees towards the mat. Um, and that would you succeed in getting two points. So that's not a fault. And then the point systems are we've got two, uh, one point when you, when you go around your opponent and you're on the mat. We've got two points when you do the same thing but in another technique. We've got four points when you do a throw and we've got five points when you do a back throw. We call it a souffle. It's kind of like as pair, isn't So if in five minutes, then you reflect me like when okay, la agna action. So let me do it clinch. Let me give one person e e e advantage. So they will choose. Guna guna ma polite to a red or blue. So you melu vala mecho. Then you reflect choose a lelo pola. Ma keep only red when you're starting now. Laga blue. Thinking about it, I'm the only black person in this club. Black female. In South Africa, we only have a very few female wrestlers. So in my weight overall, mass wrestler, my SA will be about five or six, of which is still very good. But sometimes you'll be alone in your weight or you'll be two or three. I think she's been nominated for Sports Women of the Year for Ikurelini, and it's not the first time. I think she was nominated 2014 as well. But I really think this year she's got a very good chance of, of winning it because of the achievement at the Commonwealth Games uh, in 2014. At the stage, I'm third in my weight category worldwide. So. I'm, I'm still working for first. Okay, so this is the Boxford Wrestling Club Wall of Fame. And all these people that are here have represented the club either internationally or nationally. I think Mpo started off as a very powerful competitor in the beginning, but Mpo wasn't, didn't have enough skill. And then Mpo has evolved with technique and I think with actual respect for the other opponents, I think Mpo has evolved in that way a lot. So it happened to me like a month ago, somebody called me and said, hey, congratulations, I said, on what? And they said, ah, you've been selected as a finalist for the Kurileni Sports Awards. I'm like, wow, okay, cool. And then she was like, no, your, 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 your manager gave in your registration and say you should, they should look at that. And then, yeah, so she congratulated me and I'm like, I'm glad. And then thinking about it, in my category, it's actually very, uh, a very big one because I'm going against Janine Van Veik, a soccer player, and I'm going against a hockey player that went to, to Glasgow with me. So it's actually a big one.
Okay, so tonight is a night. We're going to the awards and let's go fetch this. Yeah, but like such. Let's do this, Jesse. Um, yeah. Tonight, uh, it's the Ekurulene Sports Awards, and it's happening in Alberton Civic Centre. Okay, this is the um, Alberton Civic Centre uh, for the Ekurulene Sports Awards. And I'm here with my brother, Jesse, and my mom, Amanda van der Watt. This is my mother, everybody. Pretty, eh? Hey? <laughs> I feel very honored to be nominated for the Akurulene Sports Award. Actually, I'm honored to say I'm the rest, the only wrestler that's nominated. So that means they are looking at other sports, sporting codes as well, besides soccer, of course. Good evening and welcome to the Akurulene 2015 Sports Awards. Tonight, we honor the top achievers of Akurulene, most of whom have made their mark on the national stage, and others who are making their way up there I honestly think she's got a very good chance this year. I think it's quite an achievement to win a medal at, at a Commonwealth Games. So my money is on, on me for. If I don't get the award, I would be a bit disappointed. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. Like, maybe there's even more to come this year or next year. But I'm sh I, I hope that I would get the award. I mean, I've been working very hard last year. It's been a very hard year and a long year. And to the winner. Please welcome the Ekurulene Sports Award winner, Amanda van der Watt. Top candidates here, I tell you. The first one is Bernadette Costin, representing hockey. The second finalist is Mpo Magi, representing wrestling. Mpo represented South Africa at the African Wrestling Championship in Tunisia, where she obtained fourth position. She also represented South Africa at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow, Scotland, where she won the bronze medal and in that process became the first ever South African female wrestler to win a Commonwealth Games medal in Kormadi, representing wrestling. I haven't prepared any speech, but I'm sure it will come, and maybe I'll use my speech for last year that I prepared. <laughs> The Sportswoman of the Year, the 2015 Akurulele Sport Awards, is Commonwealth Games medalist Upo Mad. extremely satisfied that she's won, not only for, for us as a club, but also for herself. I think she deserves it. Um, after 2010, she made a commitment that she'll correct the fourth place that she, she obtained, and she wanted to win a medal. That was our aim, and uh, she succeeded in that, and I think uh, that is 99% of, of uh, how she, she got to win the award. I want to win the award. They must say, because of you, I, I want to do more. Or because of you, I didn't give up. So what I'm actually doing, I'm doing it because 
I want somebody somewhere to not give up. And the mother me, I mean, story some, but you, there's more to life than, than just crying on someone's shoulder and just taking from people. You have to work for it. It inspires me to do more with my life and it inspires me to actually go and try new things. And I think it has taught me to actually not be a sore loser because I mean, if Mpo loses, she accepts it. And seeing Mpo accomplish all this stuff has actually helped me, I think, accomplish some of the stuff that I've learned. And I'm happy that Mpo has accomplished this stuff because some of the stuff Mpo has accomplished has led up to other things that she's done. Everything that's in my room, it's my inspiration. When I wake up, I look at it and I think today I must do what I couldn't do yesterday. I must work extra hard. I must go achieve more. So I look at this and start my day. Okay, guys, this is um, last year's Akurirene Sports Awards when I was a finalist for the Sportswoman of the Year, uh, the 2014 one and that's the 2013 one. Okay, this is the medal I got 2013 in Chad at the African uh, Senior Championship. And I got a bronze medal. And this is probably one of my Eastern Gauteng tournaments. It's not easy. Maramagmele, we are overseas, you have to have money and you have to have sponsors and to get our sponsors it's quite challenging because I want to buy with in wrestling you know it's not being marketed uh, a lot. I know there's some of the European countries where there's leagues that, that, that uh, pay people like the Bundesliga but it's not one of those things that compete with soccer or rugby or cricket so you know basically it's an amateur sport and and I think most of it would come from your own pocket instead of somebody paying you. In wrestling, it's not known, and it's the oldest sport in the world, you know, from, uh, from Good Bible. So people should actually know good what's wrestling. So I feel actually bad, then I have to explain to them what is wrestling. I'm aiming on getting more of this, these um, this year, and then these will be stashed away and the new ones will come. Mufunoguti, don't stop whatever you're doing and don't make excuses of whatever you're doing. Life is not fair and life is difficult. So whatever dream you have, just follow it and do it full out.